When I'm working with getting string input from the user, I have to be aware of a couple things. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to bring the string library in. So I'm going to work with strings, and then I'm going to make myself one. Um, so let's say I ask them, what is your name? Nope. And then um, the way we've seen so far to get input is to use CN. So if I do that, uh, I can grab their name and let's say hello and set it back out on the screen. All right, so here's what that looks like. So let me run this thing and it asks for my name. So let me type it, Bethany. Hello, Bethany, press any key to continue. So that seemed like it worked fine, but I want to show you something. If I... Um, Answer with more specificity, Bethany Petter, and hit enter. Um, you'll notice it, it didn't get my last name because CN uses as delimiter or as signal to know that it's finished either the press of the enter key or a, uh, a space bar press, so a, a space in the text. And so it'll only grab one item up to a space and it won't include the space and then it will not get the second item, um, which didn't cause too much trouble with this particular program. But if you're about to ask for some more stuff, to ask for numbers and, and various other questions, it's going to cause your program to like skip ahead and tumble through the rest of its execution. Um, so it's a good idea when you're asking for string input to use a slightly different read. Um, and it looks like this. Instead of doing this C into text, I'm going to use this alternate thing get line c in comma text so this is saying get the entire line so it's going to grab text and spaces up to the uh, press of the enter key it needs to know that it's using the, the keyboard input string so c in and the second item that i put here the second parameter i pass to this function is the name of the variable where i would like to store it so i want to save it in my text string so that's why i put text there so now if i run it with this I get to, if I say just my first name, it still works. If I say my full name, doo -doo, and it grabs both of them. And in fact, if I want to go like, nerdtastic, or as many words as I want, it'll grab all of them basically until I hit the enter key. So that is um, what you want to do when you read strings. Now there is one tiny issue. And that's that if I'm alternating between getting numeric values and getting strings, then this guy causes a little tiny hiccup. So say I was going to ask how old I am as well. How old are you? And I see it age. Um, and then I use this guy. I just want to show you what happens. So I'm going to run it. All right. And it asks me, how old are you? I'm going to type 34. What is your name? And then just skipped ahead. It didn't actually let me type an answer. It's because CN reads up to um, the press of the enter key, but it sort of leaves it sitting there. And then when you get to this guy, he says, oh, I see the press of the enter key sitting there. I'm finished. And so it just skips ahead. So if you switch, and it only matters in this order, if you switch from using a regular CN read to using a get line read for the next item, then you have to do one little thing in between them, which is to say cn.ignore, and that way it'll grab that oh, press of the enter key and skip, um, like skip it, throw it out, and then it'll wait for the actual valid input. So let me show you this works now. All right, so I am 234, and my name is Bethany. And now it works as expected. So it doesn't have to go, like if you go get line and then do C in, you don't need it there. But if you do a C in and then a get line, you need that in between. Um, you don't need it between two get lines. You don't need it between two C ins. Only between this little transition from this guy to this guy. And it doesn't actually matter if I put it there or like in between the question. It just has to happen before the get line gets called.